Four signs you are dealing with a highly masculine man. But first, like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. Four signs that you are dealing with a highly masculine man. Number one, he does what he says he's going to do. There is nothing more attractive than dealing with a man who not just talks about it, but he's actually bees about it, as they used to say back in the day. When a man is true to his word, and he's not just airing words to try to pacify you, but he actually plans on putting action behind his words, that is highly attractive. When a woman sees a man doing what he says he's going to do, he's actually putting a plan into motion, that makes a woman feel safe. If you're dealing with a man who is constantly offering you words, but there is no action behind what he says, not only is he a little bit on the feminine side, he is also unstable in his ways. And a man who is unstable cannot be trusted. And as a feminine woman, you want to know that you're dealing with someone who can make you feel safe, make you feel heard, and make you feel valued. When a man truly cares about you, he doesn't just tell you what you want to hear. He actually puts those actions or those words into action. Number one. Number two. They're able to teach you something. When a man is in his masculine energy, he actually has something valuable he can add to your life via his wisdom, via his knowledge, via his expertise in some area of his life. Whether he is a spiritual man, which he should know God, because that's where the wisdom comes in, but he is also a man that has developed a skill. He's taken the time to learn something outside of just his high school or college education, or he's taken on the things that he learned in high school and college, and he's built on those things, and thus he's able to teach you something. There's nothing more attractive than being in the presence of a man who is showing you how to do little things. Um, for me, I know my husband, number one, he knows God. So he's constantly teaching me the word and showing me how to apply that. And that is attractive because it's not only that he cares about me just in the regular in a regular way, but he cares about my spirit. He cares about my emotional, spiritual, and mental well-being. That is highly attractive. And then he also teaches me things about cars. He teaches me things about fishing. My husband teaches me a lot of different things. Do I grasp all of it? Absolutely not. Am I interested in all of it? Absolutely not. But the fact that he is able to teach me, that is very attractive because it's telling me that I'm not dealing with a man who is dumb. The last thing you want to feel in your relationship is that you're dealing with someone who doesn't, who isn't too bright or someone who isn't intellectual in some way. And that's not to say that all men are highly intellectual and sophisticated and they're walking around with a monocle. I'm not saying that a man has to be that way. But in general, he should have something valuable that he can teach you other than just street credibility and street wisdom. And I'm not saying that a man teaching you how to protect yourself, let's say if your man knows how to box and he teaches you that, that is a valuable tool that's going to be able to help you when you are in the public, God forbid you're in some kind of physical altercation. But that should not be the only type of thing that he is able to teach you. He shouldn't be able to teach you just illegal things and not something that can actually contribute to your overall well-being. And to backtrack, I'm not saying that boxing is illegal. I'm saying, you know what I mean when I say street activities. There are some men who are so faux masculine, rough around the edges, gangster-like, where they only teach you things that are going to get you locked up. I'm going to leave that right there, and I'm going to assume that you all know what I'm talking about. So number two, he is able to teach you something. Number three, and this kind of goes along with number two. His presence makes you feel safe. When you are in the company of a highly masculine man, you feel safe and protected with him. You don't feel like your defense mechanisms have to be up at the moment. You don't feel like you have to be prepared to protect yourself just in case something goes down. You know he's got you. 
And I'm not saying in order for a man to appear and come off that way, that he has to be this big, burly guy with loads of muscles, this strong bravado. No, he doesn't have to have all of that in order for you to feel safe. Once again, if he is stable-minded, if he is a man who understands reason and logic and has common sense and he knows when something is not right, you trust that he's not going to put you in harm's way. But when a man lacks that emotional and mental stability, when he's not heavily in that masculine side of himself, he might have you in situations where you can be harmed at any moment because he's going into different environments where He's not really thinking it through. He's just doing whatever feels right in the moment. And that's more of a feminine thing to do. A man who has masculinity, who's actually operating in that, he has the ability to read the room, read the signs. He can tell when something is not right and he will never put you in harm's way. And then also he provides stability for you as a woman, which in turn will make you feel safe. How does a man do that? By going to work every day, making sure that a roof is kept over your head, making sure there's food in your stomach and clothes on your back. When you see that a man is doing the basic necessities as a man, such as caring for your well-being via the very things that you need, that makes a woman feel safe. When a man doesn't find it a chore to go to work every day and to take care of you, and when he doesn't find it a chore to do little things around the house that you ask of him, that is a man that is operating in his masculinity. And honestly, when a man is truly in his masculinity, you won't have to ask him much when it comes to doing things such as providing, protecting, and leading. Those things will just come natural for him. Of course, no man is perfect, so you might have to remind him of different things. You might have requests. Of course, you know, he, does, he might have a memory bank of things. But in general, when a man is in his masculinity, he understands that, okay, with the wedding came the wife. With the wife comes I have to provide. That's just like a basic circle of life for a masculine man. He absolutely understands that and you won't have to drill that into him if he is truly a masculine man. So number three, he makes you feel safe by doing the bare necessities of being a man, which is providing, protecting, and looking after your well-being as his wife, as his woman. And then number four, he does not dump all of his issues on you. A masculine man is very hesitant to dump out all of his issues, his complaints, his concerns, whatever he might be going through, he is kind of, he's less likely to just dump all of that on you because he understands that emotionally and mentally, as a feminine woman, you're not really built to withstand all of the heavy pressures that he might be dealing with. So for the most part, masculine men tries to hold everything in. And I get on my husband about this sometimes because it can be healthy for you, for him to hold things in, but you are also a feminine woman, a nurturing woman, and you want to be that listening ear for him. So there has to be a balance with this, and that's where some men miss it. While they don't, we appreciate as feminine women that they don't dump all of their issues on us, there's nothing wrong with a man telling you the general way that he's feeling in the moment. But a more masculine man, he likes to keep everything to himself. He doesn't want to burden you with much. And as feminine women, we should absolutely appreciate that. But once again, there comes that balance where it's like, okay, you don't have to tell me every little detail and whine and cry because of course that is more feminine and that's a turnoff. And no woman, no woman wants to be with a man who cries at the drop of a hat because work is too hard and this is too hard and I can't take this and I can't do this because that puts a woman in her masculine, which she does not have, and now she's being like a mother to her man. So we absolutely appreciate that a man doesn't whine and cry and complain to us all the time, but if there's something on his mind as a feminine woman, you should be available to listen. 
but that is the number four trait of a very masculine man. He likes to just keep things to himself. He's not really going to tell you what's going on. I remember my husband had like a stomach ache or something bothered him. He didn't tell me until like three days later that the thing had upset his stomach and he was really going through it. I'm like, well, you could have fooled me because I had no idea that you were going through that. It's because he didn't say anything. There's been issues at work that he's dealt with that he didn't say anything to me about until months later because he didn't want to burden me with it. Masculine men are like that. They pretty much keep things close to the vest. They're like, okay, I'm going to talk to God. He'll get me through it. I don't want to bother you with that. But there's balance and we appreciate it. So those were four habits or four signs that you are dealing with a masculine man. If you watch this video until the very end, put the high hill emoji in the comment section. I absolutely appreciate you and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Share this content with other women who you think may benefit from it. Um, as feminine women, it's an, very important that we understand the dynamic be between the feminine and masculine. That's why in a lot of these videos, I will be speaking to issues that impact us as feminine women in relation to masculine men. All right, hit the like button. Take care.